Hi, everybody. Um, all right, so Jay Gabor, you're asking me, do you have a spiritual practice? And if yes, what is it? Woo! All right, now you're getting into some, some deep stuff. Um, specific spiritual practice? No. Um, does that mean I'm not spiritual? No, not at all. I'm very spiritual. Um, but much in the same way that I think human beings are sort of incapable of conceiving even just the mass of the universe or even just the number of stars included in the universe, um, I think we are also uh, incapable of truly comprehending uh, the truth of a higher power or a higher being. Not that we can't experience it, but to truly understand it, um, I think everything is short-sighted. And as history has proven, um, you know, every... <laughs> You know, there's been many, many, many religions over thousands of years, and um, they all seem ridiculous in hindsight. And I think whatever we're believing right now will seem just as ridiculous in hindsight. Um, it's not to say that there isn't anything. It's just to say that I think that we are uh, conceited to think that we truly understand what's going on or that we can uh, nail it down like, oh, yeah, and humans are, you know, God's chosen people, or even one part, one type of, you know, person, human being or human, the human race is a chosen person, or it's just, it just all seems sort of ridiculous. It just seems that we're all made of the same stuff. We're all made of the same molecules, and the universe is made of the same sort of material. So how can we uh, differentiate ourselves from each other or from the universe? Um, we all are one. We are all are the same. So... It just seems odd to say that you're going to hell or you're going to heaven and blah, blah, blah. like, what's with the separation? Like, if anything, I feel like if we, if we do go somewhere when we pass, what we go to is something that becomes one. Um, I think maybe we are all separate in the, in, in, in the sense that we're separate, like we're separate individuals right now in separate bodies. And if there is an afterlife or that our energy dissipates or, or joins something, I feel like what it does is it becomes one. Um, does that make sense? Um, I guess just by believing that it helps me uh, see beauty in everything and, and see our connectedness. Uh, I don't know. Anything that, that forms divides um, is uh, dangerous. And I, I, and I don't think that's the truth of things. Um, I think the truth is uh, what brings things together. Gravity. <laughs> the gravity of love. <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> um, yeah, spiritual practice. Other than that, um, I can't say I do much other than just occasionally sit and relax and, and just observe nature. Um, observe light what man's created, what God's created, or what the universe has created. Um, it's magical. I mean, it's truly um, <laughs> incomprehensible how uh, we all exist the way we do. Um, and just taking a moment here and there to really uh, be present to that is basically my spiritual practice. Right. Thank you for the question. That's a good one. Wow.